Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. I'm Alan Waddell and joining us now on the program is the new defensive coordinator here for Southeastern football, Mr. Pete Golding. And Coach, I know you got to be excited to be back here at Southeastern. A lot of Hammond ties, a Hammond High School graduate. His brother played for the Lions. I know this has got to be an exciting time for you. Yeah, very excited. I don't know if I'm as excited as my mother is, but we're, we're super excited. Well, Coach Golding uh, was at Delta State with Coach Roberts, and uh, I know there's been a lot of transition here. Now you're having to come down here, uh, get recruiting underway, uh, you know, look at the, the talent you have coming back. I know that's got to be a difficult process. It is. I mean, the biggest thing I think right now, we're trying to evaluate the talent that we do have on the team to know where do we need to improve prove that and who do we shuffle around and stuff like that so before we actually sign anybody we try to evaluate the guys that we actually do have here now. Well when you come in and, and, and it's recruiting season I mean you're right in the middle of it as national signing day is not that far away what's the biggest challenges of that coming in and trying to jump mid-year into the recruiting process? I think the biggest thing is kind of changing levels too going division two to one double a or FCS you're kind of recruiting a different athlete as well so a lot of those kids that you were on now you're not uh, and the biggest thing on top of that is the recruiting areas itself. Uh, luckily at Delta State we did recruit the state of Louisiana. Uh, so we do have contacts here which really help us uh, obviously for this February signing class uh, that we feel pretty good about. Uh, but the biggest thing I think to us was evaluating the players that we do have now to what are our needs and then attack those needs. We're talking with Coach Pete Golding, new defensive coordinator here at Southeastern Louisiana University and was the defensive coordinator at Delta State under Coach Roberts the last few years and your defense has put up some nice numbers. Uh, so talk about what you're going to bring here to Southeastern. What type of philosophy, what type of style of defense you're going to play here with the Lions? Well, we're attacking style defense. Uh, we believe in speed. Uh, we believe in spilling the ball, make it go in east and west. Uh, we've had a lot of success. A lot of that success depend upon good players. Uh, so again, a big part of it is the recruiting process. We feel like we're on some really good talent. Well, Coach Rymers, we've had a chance to meet him the last few weeks on the program. You've been with him for the last few years. Tell us a little bit about him and uh, you know what it's like coaching underneath him. Uh, he's, he's a great mentor. You know, uh, whatever he demands of his players, he demands of his coaches. Uh, he's a competitor uh, on and off the field, so he demands a lot from his staff. Well, I, I, we've talked about it a moment ago. Uh, Pete is a Hammond native, played his high school football at Hammond High School, was a tornado, and talk about how how special it is to be able to coach now and uh, right here in Hammond. Well, it is. It's funny thing is my first football game ever competing was in Strawberry Stadium at Holy Ghost. So uh, it's funny where I started, I'm coming back to it. So we're really excited about that. We're excited to have you, and I know there's a lot of work to be done, and we wish you the best of luck over the next sure. few months. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have more for you right here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm.